Well, the Bulls do get the win, Reds, and uh, what a performance, huh? Well, the last, Michael's getting better, boy. Five games <laughs> back, 55 points. The last two games have been, the Bulls have won right at the end. Matter of fact, let's take a look at Michael coming down the stretch. The double teaming he's going to get, uh, we talked about it. If Patrick Ewing comes out, this could leave Big Bill Winnington open. So Stark slips a little bit. Michael comes on by when it looks like he's got a shot coming back this way. Patrick Ewing says, I better get out here to help. He leaps. Bill Winnington's underneath. He goes up and said, Mike, thanks for the deuce. He and Michael combined for 57 <laughs> points tonight. Boy, he only had two points, but the most important two points of the game. It was a trick, you know, just don't play me the whole game and then sneak me in there at the end for the, for the game winner. Was, did, did Phil call the play in the huddle in the timeout prior to it? It, it was a play we run off, and uh, now it's an open play, and uh, Michael brings the ball down, and as he brings it down, I go from the wing across the court to kind of open up the floor for him, and Patrick left me, and Michael just got, was able to get the ball to me out of the basket. That's why you're all here. I think it speaks for itself. You know, I mean, there are some players that are simply unique and transcend every aspect of the game, and uh, yeah, he's the only one in the history of this game that's had the impact that he's had, <laughs> you know, all the way around. So I'm not surprised that he's he, – he, he got it started the other night against Atlanta. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he just sort of building up to New York. <laughs> but, you know. I was shooting the ball very well tonight. Could you feel it that early that this was going to be the kind of night you had? Huh? felt good. I didn't feel tense. Um, I felt very relaxed. Uh, a lot of times I come in here, uh, you want to do so well here, uh, you get a little tense and you get a little bit uh, uh, enthusiastic, too enthusiastic a little bit. And uh, tonight, I just really felt comfortable just to come in. I mean, <clears throat> I had low expectations for myself, really, just to try to fit in and get, get a chemistry, get a rim rhythm for the team and, you know, let things fall where they may. And uh, it felt pretty pretty good. Did you anticipate that, that overplay? I knew I wasn't that far away. You know, I just knew I needed, as much as I would have practiced, there's no way I would have gotten ready for game time. I needed to play games. And um, I guess it took four games for me to really get my, my rhythm down. And uh, I was a little nervous uh, that it was going to take longer. But uh, I'm glad it, it came when it came. Michael, when you played so well the next, back to come back in Atlanta on a back, you know, the first time you had to play back to back, did that maybe get, the, you know? That's that where I really, that's where I really got my confidence in the Atlanta game. I mean, um, I was really searching, trying to find the right chemistry, right rhythm for myself. And the Atlanta game um, in the third quarter, so I really, really found it, and at the end of the ball game, and yeah, it only could get better from this po point on. I mean, once I came in here, I just my whole attitude was just relax, you know, go through the situation, feel the game rhythm, and then you know let the let the game come to you. And uh, I could tell in the first quarter I really had something going. Do you remember that game? The last time. <laughs> the opening night against, I think it was, was Bernard King on that team then? I don't remember. 86. It was, that was the first game of the season. I yes. remember that. Can you do it again? I don't know. <laughs> I think that's, 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 that's the fun thing about it is that tomorrow you don't know what I could do. I've always enjoyed playing here. I mean, this is such a great respect to come here and play the game of basketball. Did you expect the W stronger because the game went on? A lot of players would get more fatigued. Well, I was, I, was, I was very worried about my physical, that I would burn out. So in the third quarter, I was kind of just trying to take a step back and, and, and not really be aggressive as much. And that, I mean, I've done that in the past. And I, and I told BJ, I told Scotty that I'm going to slow it down. So I have something in the fourth quarter. You know, uh, I really don't think that my win is good enough to go 45 minutes, but very, very productive. You know, and even though I, uh, I'm out there, I, th I think I can be more of a weapon sometimes just by being out there than actually being aggressive as an offensive player. When you how, about, how about a sense of the Knickerbockers since you saw them last game five, two years ago? I don't think they've changed much. It's, it's a battle. I mean, you know, this team. Uh, you know, this is regular season as well. This is not the playoffs. The playoffs is a whole different atmosphere. It's a whole different attention uh, span from the from the Knicks team. So uh, I think this is one of those battles that we've always had, and uh, it came down to the last couple minutes. Michael, how much you, 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 you think you have back? Teammates have kind of found a rhythm with you yet? No. 
I think that's something we're still working on. I mean, so much has been being said about our rebounding is that we, we forgot how to play defense to a certain extent. I mean, we were giving a lot of easy shots up tonight, layups and, you know, things that we would not normally do, you know, from the teams that I played on. And I think that's something that we have to take in, a, in account in a playoff situation. I mean, we have to be better defensively than what we were tonight. I mean, we got away with it. But, I mean, we can't do that every night. Mike, what do you mean? Is that something you need to work on in practice, or you can only take care of by playing games? By playing uh, in, in the rest of the games that we, we play. And, I mean, we have to really focus on that emphasis in the, in the course of the game. Michael, how, how much of your jumping do you think you have back? What percentage do you say? Elevation? My jumping? Elevation? Elevation? I had a problem uh, in the first three days, first week or so, with my ankles. You know, my ankles getting adjusted to cutting and moving again and tonight was the you know tonight in Atlanta was the first night I really hadn't had a problem with my ankles which has helped my ele elevation a little bit and on my jump shot as well uh, so I think most of my elevation is due to you know, my ankles adjusting to that, that that demand on them in the course of a game you know and I feel a lot better now when you got about the game like tonight when you made the decision to leave baseball excuse me thinking about having a game like tonight when you made the decision to leave baseball? You know, most of my minor leaguers kept reminding me of games like tonight. You know, I I, I knew I could still do it. You know, uh, when I couldn't have said it would have happened in New York, but I knew I could still play the game of basketball. And uh, I was a little rusty the first three games, and uh, I'm starting to get a little hang of this. You know, it's a fun game. <laughs> 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 